Hi there grade 11s and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about floor and elevation plans. Now again these are things that do come up in your tests and exams especially within the term 2 and term 3. So let's have a look at this. When we talk about plans we are talking about 2D diagrams that provide a description of a structure. We're talking about scaled drawings and there is a ratio between the drawing and the reality. And plans contain dimensional data about the structure itself. So that's just the concept of plans itself. Now when we look at floor plans, okay, here's an example of floor plans. And when we look at the picture, we can see um, indicated there, there is a bedroom, in fact, bedroom two, three and four is your balcony, uh, you've got your master suite, your ensuite, your bathroom over here, these are your passageways, um, you can see sort of a lounge over here as well. So this is your floor plan and it's a two-dimensional drawing of what the building looks like. So it will show us the, the design and dimensions, the shape and location of rooms, so you can see the shape of these rooms. This indicates your door, it's opening that way. You can see the length and width of the building, but it does not show the height. Okay, so that is very important. When we deal with elevation plans, this is also 2D drawings showing the design of the outside of the building. So now you can see we don't see anything inside. This is completely on the outside. We can see the length and height of the outside walls. The position of the windows you know we can see where the garage is the front door the dimensions and height of the roof all those things so your elevation plans will show you those items whereas your floor plan um you know gives you that view so if i look at the floor plan i i wouldn't know if you know if there's a second floor unless there would there's another picture that actually says you know floor two or things like that okay so that's my floor plan and my elevation plan. Now, what's important is the north elevation. The north elevation plan will show the side of the plan that is in front of you when you are facing the compass direction north. Okay. As such, this side will be facing north. So this is what they mean when they talk about north facing. It provides information regarding which rooms receive light at a particular time of day and in south africa houses are generally built facing north so facing the direction of the sun and as such receive the greatest part of the sun throughout the day so if um, someone is buying a house and they say it is a north facing house it means that one side of the house is directed towards um, you know compass north and generally will receive most of the light Okay, then working with scales on maps. Now, floor maps contain a number scale and a bar scale. So, what's the difference? Well, our number scale works this way. For example, if the number scale is, and it will always be expressed as a ratio, in this ratio, for example, if 1 is to 80, this means that for every 1 centimeter, um, that we are measuring it's actually 80 centimeters in reality so if the balcony that we see over here is 13 centimeters um, then in reality we would take that 13 centimeters that we've measured here we will multiply it uh, by the ratio on the scale and that will give us 1040 which means that that's around about a 10 meter balcony then we also have the bar scale and you can see the difference the bar scale doesn't have a ratio but it's actually got segments that we are using and here they mentioned that using the ruler to measure we see in the example below that one centimeter is equal to six kilometers so if i measured three centimeters on a map that would actually give me 18 kilometers um, when it comes to this bar scale okay and then lastly we have design drawings and plans the so design plans show the various components needed to complete a project so here we can see all the different components the leg um, the tabletop itself you know all the different measurements so this table is our example and before building the table it's obviously important 
to design the layout and dimensions of the table, the legs, the tabletop, the frame, all those various things. And those are all the components that are going to be needed to complete the project. Okay, so that's it for looking at floor and elevation plans, a little bit of scale uh, and our design dimensions as well.